it's Amanda, what's up? I'm starting up a new vlog today. I'm about to start, I actually have already started doing my makeup. Currently Saturday at 3.30 and I'm getting ready because I'm about to film an intro for my outerwear collection video. I filmed that at my mom's studio. Didn't have time to do a whole like intro. I also wasn't sure if I wanted to do a talk through outerwear collection or just show you guys the coats and I decided I would just show you the coats because I love editing and it's just like I personally enjoy watching a video that's just more to the point than just describing the coat when you can just fucking see it you know what I mean so I've uploaded that if you haven't seen it I'll link it below but I have to film the intro so I'm gonna be doing that and it's Saturday I upload Sundays I've been on my YouTube like scheduling game this whole past summer but since school started I don't know I just like slipped up so I'm like frantically getting this video done I mean not frantically I'm fucking done editing it I just have to do the intro and I'm also going out tonight with my friend Anika hi bitch if you're watching this but um her and I think a couple of her friends so I'm getting ready it's 3 30 we're not going out until like probably 9 I really don't want to redo my makeup but I might end up doing that because it's gonna be a while before I go out and I hate going out with old makeup like I don't know what it is I'm just like mm, it needs to be fresh I like being ready when I'm actually filming real videos not vlogs obviously I don't give a fuck in my vlogs but I don't know it makes me feel more put together when I'm like talking and shit you know it's like 25 degrees out today it's so nice and I haven't gone outside once except to eat my breakfast but yeah I've just been editing all day and honestly I love editing and I have a lot of fucking homework, but this was an excuse to just put that on the back burner for a little bit. I also filmed a fall lookbook at my mom's studio, um, which I just don't know. What do you guys prefer? Do you want me to sit and talk to you about each outfit, or do you just want me to show you the outfits? I know I would rather just see the outfits, but sometimes people want to understand, like, why are you styling it with that, or give some sort of explanation. If you guys want that, let me know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet for that video. It's honestly easier to edit it with a talking portion because I just insert the clips on top of whatever the outfit is, but it's way more fun and I feel like just like a cuter video if I don't talk through the whole video. So I don't know. Anyways, I feel like I'm way more comfortable now talking to the camera. Like obviously I've been having a YouTube channel, but because I've been filming so constantly, I'm just like, okay, let's turn it on, bitch. Hi. Like I don't really think of it as a camera at all. I never have like People ask me like is it weird like talking to camera and I'm like what do you mean like I literally don't even acknowledge that I'm doing that but I need new makeup palettes so badly because I've been using this Tarte palette since like grade 10 I know makeup expires but like does it I don't know <laughs> um yeah genuinely like I need a new eyeshadow palette it's just, I don't know how often I'm going to be wearing eyeshadow because I obviously have lash extensions that are in need of a fill very badly, but when I have a full set of lashes, I usually don't do eyeshadow, but right now I'm trying to like cover up the fact that I'm missing 90% of them. I'm not even in need of a fill, like I need a full set, bitch. Don't play yourself right now. Also, I was thinking I would do like an updated makeup routine or something, but like then I remember there's literally nothing to update because I never change my makeup routine because I use the same fucking palette every day guys to heart lit okay also I did my eyebrows yesterday I've gotten so much better at doing my eyebrows like I used to never pluck them or do anything to them just because I didn't think I needed to but seeing how different they look when I actually pluck them is crazy Girl, this shit makes the biggest difference on my eyebrows. I'm not even kidding. It's such a game changer. I love the Anastasia brow wiz. But like, look at the difference. And I used to be that bitch that was like, whatever, I never get my brows done or I don't do them. But now, Vaseline is my favorite thing to use to set my brows. I use a spoolie and then I just put Vaseline on it. Is this gross? Probably. And then just brush it through with a mirror because otherwise I'm gonna get Vaseline all over my face. It actually makes them stay all day and 
I don't know, I love their like glossy look. Okay, another thing I'm obsessed with is my Laneige sleeping mask. I don't know why I was literally the last person to get on this fucking bandwagon, but I forgot to do contour and all face makeup, so let's do that. I'm using my Anastasia Contour Kit Bitch. I'm just gonna bronze up my face. This is like literally just to make myself feel more tan because I lost my tan. All of the hard work I put in, just kidding, but like it's gone, so. I'm trying to think about what I want to tell you guys. Like, I've been in school now for two, three weeks. Three. There's no way it's been three weeks. That's actually, I guess, it's been 20 days. 25. I've been in school for 20 days. I've been in school for a minute. And so far, so good. Honestly, the only thing that I have to complain about is the fact that I have constant headaches because of being online all the time. I don't know if you guys are dealing with the same thing, but like, my head has been hurting for like, three days in a row and I've been just taking Advil um and I usually don't really take Advil I kind of forget it's even a thing when I have a headache I just like don't even think about it but I've had to take it that's how bad it's been um and that's just because I'm on my computer the entire day and then I'm also editing on my computer and like I'm just on it way too much and the other thing is my neck has been fucking killing me because I'm always looking down on my laptop so I'm gonna order one of those like laptop stands that you can put your laptop on so it's like slanted because it's actually fucked how much my neck has been hurting me and it still hurts other than that but yeah other than the um constant fucking headaches and neck pain loving it the lighting in my room at like five o'clock is so prime so good I'm kind of just like deciding that the things that have been sitting on my top for a couple months I'm just gonna donate to Valley Village I get so much of my wardrobe from there I'm like it goes full circle it's good karma if I donate my stuff I have some good finds like some good shit that people will find but when I think about it the cost of shipping on Depop sometimes is just no one's gonna pay for it especially if it's international and I just want it out of my closet so I'll show you guys what I'm donating the reason I'm inspired to do this right now is because my mom has a huge bag of stuff that she's giving to Valley Village like this jacket from Zara, I've worn probably twice. I got it in high school and I wore it with my uniform, but I just wouldn't wear this anymore. And this weighs so much to ship, so no one's gonna pay for that shit. So I'm just gonna donate it. Honestly, yeah, I'll be happy if someone finds this and really likes it. I don't know when I bought this scarf, but I feel like I'm never gonna wear it. <laughs> What? I'm getting breadsticks too and it's cheaper now. What? Is that a deal? Yeah. Do you think that I'd ever wear this pink scarf? I don't know when I got this. Like not like this though. Like if it was bundled, do you think I'd wear it? I've, I've never worn it. And I'm just thinking about any coat I have wouldn't go with this. <laughs> Look at my outfit. <laughs> okay, I'll donate that. This Zara belt is literally looks like a fabric scrap. Oh my god. Tom, look at this belt I got from Zara, like with jeans. Dennis just looks like a fabric scrap. <laughs> it's not even sewn. Donate. I don't even think that's like someone will that's like donatable. Okay, another thing that I'm like kind of over is denim jackets. Oversized. Like this has not the cuffs are still on this from like two years ago. I don't think that this is the vibe. Should I donate this denim jacket? Okay, I'm giving that one to my brother. I genuinely don't know how I still own this. This was my first purse um, from Call It Spring. It's such a knockoff of the Rebecca Minkoff five zippered bag. And I actually uploaded a What's In My Purse on, was it? I think it was on this channel. I don't know how many years ago, probably like six years ago. Um, with this purse so it's time to donate this girl also i need more hangers that's another reason that i'm donating this shit right now because i need to hang up my relevant clothes and i don't have any hangers so time to hang this shit up Ooh. i'm posting this one on my depop i haven't worn this in so long but this was like a go-to top for me a couple years ago and it's super flattering it's from top shop but shirts like this you can do letter mail so it's so cheap to ship it. Um, so I'm just posting that. I literally just posted it. Okay, I've been loafing on 
posting my hoodies for so long. This is a super old Fila hoodie that I used to love and I'm gonna take some pics of it. I got this from Urban Outfitters and I was actually so obsessed with this hoodie, oh my god. This is another throwback item that I just don't vibe with anymore. So I'm gonna post this and a girl just bought one of my shirts, thank you. I love selling shit on Depop, but shipping it out is like, <laughs> it's so, oh my god. I don't know why it's such a hassle for me to always ship things out. So this is spicy Hawaiian or something. I always get the same thing. I get black olives and mushrooms. And we switched up. It's just green pepper on the other one, right? On top? Yeah. Okay, are we here for this lighting? Because this is tonight's fit. I'm not actually wearing this hat, but it low-key looks super cute. I just like, I'm not gonna wear a baseball cap um, to go out, you know? I don't know if it's just me, but I have to clean up my room before I leave to go out or I'll just be thinking about it when I'm out and it bothers me so much. Also, I'm gonna attach this onto my bag because it's sparkly and it matches my shirt. I'm kind of debating on this blazer. I just put it on. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I just am kind of worried I'm gonna get cold. You guys have seen these pants. I thrifted them pretty recently. I love the detailing along the waist. This is a super casual black little t-shirt. It says gymnast. I'm doing my Betty Boop bag and I attached a clip in case I need. And then my Jordan 4s. Love these shoes. 